Welcome back to a global high tech solution kids playback channel on, on YouTube video or video lecture 15. Before you started this lecture, I highly encourage you to complete previous lecture related with this course. So let's get, uh, let's get started and jump on the topics. So today we'll be talking about as we um, went through the entire course. And so we need to add our code or the mm. test suite or the test automation suite in a central locations it could be github could be bitbucket uh, could be aws but we'll be choosing today you know like as a github github to adding our code as a, you know like as a test suite into the github so for that githubs in our local machine if you are using mac or windows it does not matter any one of them you have to install local git so you can type install git it will take you to the git website so git scm click on that git scm and it will be giving you options to install in the git so this is for mac i do have a mac but um uh, if you are using the windows you can just download and click on multiple clicks it will be installing for you the gates so once you have the gate on your desktop if you right click on it in your windows machine you'll see over here is a git bash uh, in order to um, verify the git install or not but in mac um, you don't have to verify anything so just you know, directly go to the console or you know like terminal you can you can start adding the git uh, commands over there but for now as i have the git already installed in your machine so now we'll need the second part is uh, creating an account github accounts Let's go in the GitHub accounts. I already have the GitHub account. You can create a GitHub account by sign up. And once you have the GitHub account, so then uh, we'll be create a project. Uh, we'll be creating a project in GitHub. So let's create a project by click on the plus sign, new repository. We'll be create a new repository. The same name of our local um, test suite repository name. So we'll be seeing right now what are those repository, uh, what are what are the name, or what is the name we're using. So playwright automation suite. So as you see, the name of it's called a playwright automation suite, right? So we'll be we'll be creating a repository by the folder name. It's called a playwright automation suite. So let's go ahead play right automation suite and description play right play right end to end end to end test so this is going to be a public we'll be adding a git ignore file so this is the uh, dot readme dot so we'll be we'll, we'll not be adding with readme.md file because we already have it we'll be adding a git ignore file and we're not going to be choosing any license click on create repository okay so that's all uh, we have playwright automation suite now we'll be cloning that repository by following this command so i don't have to follow it because i knew it but you guys can follow it so now we'll be calling uh, cloning by ssh uh, I already have the SSH set up in my machine and, and hooked with the GitHub account. Um, that is pretty easy and you can search on uh, Google search. It will give you a um, lot of options. You can follow one of them, uh, how to set SSH um, into your GitHub account. Now I'll be cloning that. Um, let's open up item because as I told you guys, I'm using the item instead of terminal. But in your ma uh, in your Windows machine, you can use cmd command prompt. So right now I'm in the folder um, users and zaman. Let's go into the desktop, desktop. So I'm in the desktop, and in the desktop I have a playwrights folder, cd playwright folder. I'm inside the playwright as you see. Then inside the playwright. Let me type over here, it's YouTube. I'm going to be create a folder called a GitHub. GitHub. 
so let's get into the github github then git clone so i'm just cloning the project there you go so inside the folder you'll be seeing i had a play, uh, playwright automation suite a repository with a dot git i don't have anything else as you see now i'm going to be switching or moving my project inside that folder so this is the project i'm working on playwright automation suite inside the playwright automation suite whatever i have i'll just copy that and paste it inside github playwright here paste 14 items so that's when i create a repository in github i clone that repository into my local machine and on that folder i'm adding my automation test classes and test suites now i'll be importing this project in our in our visual studio code now you will be seeing over here on the top so let's trust it trust and this is the folder in 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 our github basically so if you go over here open up the terminal you can manually open up the new terminal and debug console so you can see pwd it will be giving you the options github etc the folder location so we are inside the playwright github and playwright operation suite let's see this so it's up and running or not npm run test if test is running it should be up and running over here 46 test that looks right and using one workers which is only one worker um, the browser instance we are working we are using it Okay, some tests are failing. Link text checkbox. Okay, let's do this. Let's do one thing. I'll be removing the earlier report from here uh, and the earlier results also. And I'll be start running this at npm run test. executing from the scratch let's hold tight for a it's not going to be take a minute it will be taking like 30 seconds or something like that let's see 21 22 23 24 25 okay almost done almost we are here so it will be creating our earlier results and earlier report there you go so everything is up and running right 46 test pass and it is generating the report so we don't have to generate the report now we'll be uh, we'll be adding to the github right clear so let's say git status uh, let's say git branch what branch we are in git branch so no commit on branch master so we are on the master branch basically let's add all of them right git add which is git add space dot it will be adding everything now git status everything is added let's git commit hyphen m hyphen m space put your commit message over here let's say initial uh, playwright and to end ui project okay let's get push let's see so there you go I, I just post my all the code in in a github that is there or not let's go ahead and find out refresh the browser our code everything is here right and they report palm test uh, git ignore file and everything inside the git ignore file you will be seeing there is a couple of things Playback report to add test sheet test results that modules is there so that's when we are not pushing anything okay now also you see the readme.md file here right we are adding so this is our this 
this is our end-to-end -end lecture like install git on local machine github create projects clone project from from the github and a local projects in the Go, uh, github clone projects git post to remote remote github that's pretty much about it if you have any questions concerns just um i can be reached out through the linkedin githubs none of them youtubes anywhere you want uh, facebook so thanks so much for watching this lecture stay tuned for upcoming lecture for rest of the course thank you